Hey there, we're going to show you real quick how to set up Google Tag Manager in WordPress. And this is going to be a step by step guide on exactly what I did. Uh, may change in the future based on the plugins that are available out there, but this is what I found to be good enough. So I'm in, I'm in the dashboard right here of my site, Search and Perch, and I'm going to click on the plugins tab first and then add new. All right, and then I'm going to type in Google Tag Manager, search the plugin database. Okay, so there's a bunch of different options here. And at the very top, we'll see this Google Tag Manager here. I would just use this one. Um, of course, there's a variety of different plugins available. You want to ideally choose one that's been updated recently. So this one hasn't been updated for a year. And one that has good average reviews. This is four stars out of three ratings. Um, I'm going to modify this. Well, let's see this one, actually. Yeah, this is the one I used um, on a different account. So see, it was updated one week ago. It has five stars out of five ratings. Good enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. And this is called Duracell Tomy's Google Tag Manager for WordPress point six. We'll activate the plugin. Okay, and real quick, I'm just going to head over to my Firefox browser. Uh, this is the end of um, the road here when it comes to setting up the Tag Manager. You'll get this code, and obviously yours will be a little bit different, but you're going to copy it. And we'll head back to Chrome. And I'm going to go to Settings and click on Google Tag Manager. Okay, so this actually just asks for your Google Tag Manager ID, which is cool. So, um, 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 um. so that would be this right here. Okay, yours will be different, of course. You'll enter that, and you'll just keep the default selection, so footer of the page and we'll save changes. Okay, and you can look at these different tabs, but you don't have to really mess with them too much. A um, whole bunch of different options here. So depending on what you're trying to do, um, you can modify this stuff, but for the most basic settings, this should do. So just enter your Tag Manager ID, as I've done. And then once you're back in, so let's head back over to the Tag Manager in Firefox. Okay, and then you'll want to create a new tag. And you'll give it a name, so we'll call this Remarketing. And we'll call it AdWords, we'll select the AdWords Remarketing. Okay, and then you'll have to get all the, this other stuff from AdWords when you're setting up uh, remarketing. Um, but I've already gone too far. So that's how you set up the Tag Manager within your WordPress site. Just get this WordPress plugin, enter your Tag Manager ID, save the changes, and voila, it should be in there. Now, to check your work, I'll just show you this real quick. I visit my site. Okay, so I've got a little plugin here called Tag Assistant, and this will tell me what we have working, what tags are found on the site. Um, and you see that we have the tag manager working. Um, it looks like there's critical issues with the one I just added, but that's because I've added it twice. Okay, so you only want to have one of them enabled on each site you set this up with. Alright, thanks.